Welcome back, guys. Here we are, the MLG Winter Championships. We're getting ready to get into game two right now, just making sure both players are ready. JYP ready, Naniwa ready. Froden, are you ready? I'm ready. Excellent. Then we are all ready and going to go ahead and get this second game started, of course. Naniwa taking the first game, hyper aggressive, electing not to expand, but to hit his yeah. timing instead. And JYP uh, doing his best to stave off that aggression, but frankly, couldn't uh, couldn't keep it together yeah. there. I mean, it was a great job there by JYP and a, and a good thought to try to expand, but it was a little bit, it was, it was risky. It, it was. It was risky to say the least. And uh, Naniwa called him out on it and definitely was able to really take advantage of that. So we'll see how JYP bounces back in game number two. But for now, let's go ahead and introduce our players. Go ahead and take it away, oh, wow. Broden. Okay, thank you. And we'll start off with this player in the bottom left. His name is Johan. He goes by the alias Naniwa, or Nani, depends on the, how you actually call him. He's a player from Sweden. He is the Red Protoss here from Quantic Gaming against his opponent in the top right. His name is JYP, hailing from Evil Geniuses in the, the blue uniforms, and he is ready to go. I, I'm really looking for him to come firing out the game in game number two. You know, I have to mention, though, going back to that first game, Froden, I got to say, it's no secret that Naniwa is aggressive. So, yep. you know, I have to believe that JYP felt like he could have held that aggression, so things really not going his way there. Uh, but, it, again, you said it was risky, and against a player like Naniwa, especially, because he is so hyper-aggressive. And, you know, if things don't go the way Naniwa wants to in the engagement, the scary part is he's so resilient, he can elect to expand out of that pressure. So uh, it's one of those things where uh, JYP in this game, I'll be interested to see what he intends to roll out to tackle Naniwa. Yeah, so we'll see what both players choose to do for now. All we see is a slightly delayed gas for Naniwa is the only difference in build, but that just means he gets to squeeze in uh, a little bit more probes. You can see right now taking the very slight edge in terms of probes, uh, in terms of production because of the chrono boost. So we'll see how that actually turns to play out, but for now it is dual site. An interesting map. It is pretty hard. We're talking about risky expansions, but specifically over here, uh, with between the two paths to cover, especially with a shroud in one of them and the grass in another, it's just going to be a little bit tough sometimes. You have to be careful of the avenues you take because yeah. uh, if you move out too far and overextend, you could easily get caught and be punished for it. Oh, no, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, it, it's a map that's definitely very tricky. And as you said earlier, many protests simply veto because it, they don't enjoy it versus other races as well. So uh, I think it's a map uh, that JY picked for that reason, simply for the fact that maybe uh, the comfort level isn't that high in PvP. So that's something that he can go ahead and monopolize on. We'll just have to see what he rolls out with. But you know, also have to, I have to say, Froden, that um, you know, while being a member of Quantic, definitely no bias here. Uh, <laughs> you know, you can't afford to, as a fan, have any bias. So I definitely uh, am going to call this one straight down the middle. And JYP, man, I, I said it's going to go to an ace match, and I stick by that. I really think that uh, he will force a game three here. Well, that's very respectable. And we do see that the probe does end up getting cleaned up here by the stalker. Now, Naniwa is opening up completely standard, and JYP sees that. The only thing is JYP actually opened up dual gates before that. Now, it is reminiscent of three stalker opening, yeah. which does give you that ability to prevent yourself from uh, getting caught by any forward pylon. Specifically, it gives you mobility early on. And we do see the, the Twilight Council, so uh, that's JYP right, can Broden. transition to blink. Absolutely, and but one of the things that you have to do with this build that's crucial with the build is you've got to be active. You've got to be always looking around, scouting with your stalkers. And as you can see, JYP obviously doing that wants to make sure he denies any type of pylons, probes. Uh, but if you can see, uh, Naniwa actually uh, has put down uh, a proxy pylon. Wow. So he does have one warping in already, albeit not uh, really in the real estate of JYP, but close enough. And there's the probe, and that's the benefit of obviously having that stalker out. will deny the probe any vision of the main. Yeah, I mean, uh, Naniwa already claiming that area. He already has two more gateways that are currently in production that are about to wrap up. His warp gates are about to finish up as well, so he will have that. The two stalkers here from Naniwa. Oh, man, he's going to try to use the shroud as a way to dupe around, but he does get caught here. Three oh, stalkers wow. for free. And it looks like we do see that the two stalkers here from Naniwa taking a lot of damage. One of them barely surviving. And Naniwa wanted to go for three great aggression, but does not have the option to anymore. No, as not JYP after losing that Absolutely. is holding it off with two gate stalkers. Yeah, that's right, Froden. And, you know, great play there by JYP. Excellent. But Naniwa now 
uh, wants to push the issue, it seems, as uh, coming with some more enforcement. Hyper aggressive, typical stouts where he's most comfortable, Froden. Oh, wow. And here we go, Neniwa now in the main of JYP. Yeah, JYP, only one of his gates are converted. In fact, he does manage to pull off some probes as well to fend off these stalkers. Now, Neniwa, he's transitioning because he saw the he saw the Twilight Council, and now he's transitioning himself to a Twilight Council for himself as well as a robotics facility. So Neniwa got all the information he needs, and now he's just going to go back home. Love the decision. Got good intel. Didn't push the issue and is able to play patient. That's what's scary, really, about Naniwa is the fact that he is so aggressive. But you know what? He can change his tempo so very quickly. Yeah. Speaking of tempo, he is at this event. By the yeah, way. absolutely. He's a great uh, guy. Yeah. Him he and taught I, me how to handshake in Ghana. You like handshake and then you snap based off each other's yeah, fingers. Yeah. Sure. It's, really it's cool. also the same in Hawaii. It was a very culturally, very uh, cult uh, and culturing experience. Now, I really had the pleasure of actually casting some of the Winter Arena qualifier with tempo. Great guy. Big shout out to him, of course. Glad to finally meet him. Missed him in Providence, but we had a big hug when we met. But hold that thought, Ooh. because here we go. We are going to see an engagement. Now JYP is the one that wants to go ahead and push the issue. Of course, Blink has finished and is revealed. No big secret here. Yeah. Now, for those of you who are saying one, why he sent only one stalker to Blink back immediately, he puts it on a shift command. And the reason why is you peer up, you get a quick view of everything, but before you can get trapped and send that stalker to his doom, you blink backwards. So you get a quick snapshot photo, a blink of an eye, if you will. Uh, of what his opponent's a Polaroid oh, yeah. almost. Ooh, yeah. And, and you, you, you flap it around, you, you wave it. Right. You got to blow on it to make it. <laughs> I'm surprised you even remember what how those are like. Yeah, the I instant uh, photos before, before the old. Before in the 90s. Yeah, or that you used to have to fan it. But look at this. It looks like he has found the. Okay, that's. Ah, uh, Dustin Browder checking in. Uh, uh, all right. Well, I, I have, well, we have no idea what's going on, but we do see that JYP in itself right now is uh, moving out here on the bottom of his ramp as we will move ourselves to the busy okay. status. So, uh, yep, status that's the busy, but also, okay, well, t there is something to note there. Uh, we did see that JYP was able to find that proxy pylon and destroy it, so that's clutch for him. Uh, Nanny Watt will no longer be able to reinforce from that pylon, obviously, and now yep. JYP moving cross map. Neither player uh, have expanded yet. Neither player floating any minerals, bro. Yeah, but uh, the way JYP is moving out here, I think he's trying to see if he can catch Naniwa before he gets enough Colossus, because you can blink on top of the Colossi if you, uh, or Colossus rather, if you catch it off guard. But Naniwa right now is just playing more defensive, protecting his ramp. Has to be cautious to protect the other sides of his base as well. JYP does have an observer with him. Now, whoever can get control over the vision will be a key play, but Naniwa will lose one of the pylons, which is, of course, very annoying as he is supply block. Oh, man. No, that is... A great pickoff by JYP because, in fact, did supply block Naniwa for just a little bit. Naniwa now has the blocks on the field. Oh! Moving out and did he actually get the snipe off there? Yes, he got the observer before the observer was able to evacuate. So Naniwa does push that, and that actually throws a lot of aggression. But look at this! Naniwa has been planting uh, pylons throughout the entire map, and now is putting one inside of JYP's main. Is JYP even aware that he's too busy moving his units oh, around? JYP may have caught wind of it as he is on his way home now, but is it too late? Because already uh, we have Zealots in the base. Wow! A great blink back to prevent the Zealots from going straight for the middle line, but they are not Thor's efforts are not going to be oh, Thor's just yet. They're going to start working. Probes are pulled, like Tumble was saying, and now Naniwa is able to take an economic advantage from this. Zealots in your base! Ze Zealots in your base! Never good! Right now, Naniwa enjoying wreaking havoc in the probe line. JYP kind of caught juggling, isn't sure where to go. Army sort of caught way out of position, just Stalker's really stationary at the moment. Yeah, he just sends a couple back home, and Naniwa uses a great use of Zealous right now because he has excess amount of minerals anyways. Going to be able to take out a lot of probes here. JYP now down to just 19 after losing a lot, but here we go, JYP. Looks like he might just pick his timing to move up the ramp, but he doesn't have his full army strength. He's got several Stalkers here back at home. And uh, looks like we do see that the Stalkers are still perusing around here. Will he move in or will he will not? Looks like Naniwa might move down here, Tumbo, but looks like I think Naniwa should just still protect his ram. No, yeah, at this point, it's fine. He's that far ahead. Good unit spread. Look at that. That's exactly what you want. Nice yep. arc right over. Both Colossus split up, and that's going to give you the best firing arc you could possibly have. Great defensive posturing out of Naniwa. Yeah, but I think uh, JYP is still doing what he can right now, controlling the map, making sure Naniwa is contained. And uh, the most important thing is that he shut down that harass without losing an incredible amount. He did lose 12 workers, which is 
very, very big, but it wasn't game crippling just yet. So JYP still has a fighting chance here. Keep in mind, with good Blink Stalker Micro, crazy things can happen, but there are three Colossus. You have to be very cautious about that. Great break Blink Stalker Micro can be a very deceiving as well. To a lesser trained player, uh, you can actually be very far ahead, but it seems like you're behind. Yeah. But Naniwa won't fall for that. He's ready for this. He's seen it a million times. That heavy Stalker composition. Uh, he's just going to sit back. Uh, play from a defensive standpoint for now and be happy with the damage that he's done. Again, neither player expanding. However, uh, currently JYP floating 500 minerals. Yeah, I mean, that's just because right now he he's has a couple options. He's going to warp in more Stalkers, but at the same time, he also is trying to see if he can get a feel of his opponent because uh, right now Naniwa has three Colossi and Thermal Lance is about to finish. This is oh, and you know what? That's a game player. changer in yeah. PvP. Once that Thermal Lance finishes, Naniwa can feel free to get a lot more aggressive and push out a lot more because they, they're just going to have that extra range. And there we go. We can now see that's exactly what's going to happen. Froden is, is going to force an engagement, comes down off his ramp, blinking Ooh. away. JYP now knows he may be in a bit of trouble as Naniwa aggressively brings toward the stalkers of JYP. Now JYP trying to retreat with Naniwa's army in tow. Yeah, we do see that Naniwa here trying to just take out proxy pylons and content with just moving out of his natural, but for now, Naniwa knows. Now, what happens is JYP said that was a bad position, but more specifically, Naniwa says, well, even if it's a bad position, that means you don't have as many stalkers as I think you do, but Naniwa overthinks just a little bit. He needs to get back into position. Keep in mind, Naniwa also has Blink as well. And look and at this. JYP electing to take a ninja expansion. Oh, now, wow. this could be, this could really play out uh, into the late game. Oh, this wow. is why uh, Naniwa really needs to go ahead and get active on the map and start looking for things like this. Uh, as we see now, engagement's going on, but I think uh, right now JYP just sort of trying to dance around and buy time, it seems like, yeah. as uh, he's dragging Naniwa's army all over the map. He's losing a couple stalkers here and there, trying to see if he can fall, uh, turn around and stutter step, but he's losing a good amount of supply. He was up in the 90s, and now you find him in the high 70s, and all of a sudden, JYP... He's running out of movements to take. He needs to just move around his army cleanly and try to see if he can pull apart uh, the, the army here because eventually the Stalkers will outrun the Colossus and if Naniwa's not careful, you're able to really pick him off. But yeah. JYP at this point, still content with just maneuvering around. He's getting a Dark Templar Shrine as well. He's blinking forward here, trying to see if he can avoid the army. Potentially he's trying to see if he can poke in this here. This is the biggest game of Protoss Ring Around the Rosie I've ever seen. I mean, he is literally dragging oh. <laughs> Naniwa around in a circle. This is just uh, really one of those things where I think it illustrates when there's a will, there's a way, and he's trying to make something happen. Oh, he Naniwa blinks buy forward, time. loses a couple of stalkers, but you're absolutely right. This is pretty much a game of cat and mouse at this point, or cops and robbers, whatever, cowboys and aliens, whatever game you play when you were a kid. Although, it uh, looks like we do see that Naniwa is pushing forward here. Now, Naniwa still isn't really doing anything. He's just making units, making pylons, still just trying to get his production up. But JYP, as it uh, looks like we do see the stalkers from Naniwa finally going inside the base of Naniwa. Or I like JYP. this decision. And uh, he's going to see the Dark Templar trying to eventually, but for now, uh, the Dark Templar shot is actually at the expansion, I believe, and Naniwa is going to just be content with killing more probes here. Yeah, Naniwa still not sure uh, that there is an expansion at this point, but really he has a, a strong enough army that I feel like he can, uh, you know, in a straight up engagement. Oh, big blink forward. Uh, he can really devastate JYP, and he may decide to do that just now. As you can see, all of his forces now rolling into the main Froden as he decides oh, wow. it's time. He wants to end this right now before he can go ahead and boost his economy off that ninja expand. That expand may not even come into play at this point. Well, keep in mind there's no actual observer with Naniwa's army, so if he has that, but the idea is JYP's main is getting absolutely destroyed here. Is he going to even try to contest it? I don't think he can because he's actually been completely zoned out by the fact that Naniwa has way too many colossus. But now that Naniwa has killed off the main base, he's going to realize something special. He says, wait, JYP's not being revealed, Tumba. Oh, in the main of, now there's a counterattack. Ah. DT's now in the main of Naniwa. The difference here being, of course, there's an expansion for JYP. Yes. Uh, but not one, however, for Naniwa. Again, JYP doing everything he can to go ahead and try to pull out a victory in this game. Oh. Naniwa. The Observer does end up living for Naniwa. Both players try to target it down, but in the end, Naniwa got JYP's Observer, and that's huge. That is a huge pickoff right now. You're absolutely right. And as you can see right now, uh, JYP is just uh -oh. devastating with his DTs. However, as you said, uh, those Observers are going to make it back and finally uh, clean up these DTs and wow, GG GG. out of JYP. Yeah, so JYP knew that his army was not strong enough to confront the army of Naniwa.
and it was a good tactic, but that Observer Snipe would have been absolutely critical because he had no form of detection after that, the Observer. And Nanny was lost once before, once before with the exact same thing, not having enough Observers in PvP to hug. And uh, that's how it devastated him before, so he knew to hold on to that. That was an intense match, I will tell you huh. that much. JYP, so tenacious. Unfortunately, uh, we won't see match. However, congratulations to Naniwa for yep. taking the 2-0 victory there. That was an amazing series. I think that we saw the best of both players definitely in game two. Yeah. Uh, I love the fact that JYP tried to do everything he can, everything on the line, just yep. dragging Naniwa all over the place, trying to get to the DTs, which can, you know, that can be a table flip situation where you can go ahead and turn the tables uh. on your opponent, but Naniwa proving to be too good. Yeah, so uh, we will see if JRP is going to be able to come back in his championship pool play. But for now, Nanny Wall finally gets a much needed W in his series. We'll see more action coming up from MLG pool play in just a second. But real quick, I am Frodan and he is Tumba. If you liked us, please follow us on Twitter as it will help us. And we will also let us know how we're doing so that way we can improve as well as get your predictions. Just interact because we know there isn't live chat, but we still want to talk to you guys.